Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily and today we're gonna talk about health. So you may notice I'm not in my usual apartment right now. I ended up going down to the beach for a few weeks because New York was just getting like so hot and muggy and just like honestly gross. Like New York in the summer is straight up gross. So came down to the beach. I don't know how long I'll be here, but I'm like forcing myself to chill out. You know, I haven't been creating as much content. I haven't been being as productive and I'm forcing myself to just chill which is kind of hard sometimes. But anyways, back to the point of the video. Okay, so today's video is little things that I do every single day to maintain my health, to maintain my digestion, my weight, my energy levels. You know that cliche phrase, like it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. I mean, it's true. And that's sort of how I feel about my health is like, do I eat ice cream, cookies, pasta, pizza sometimes? Yeah, of course, actually a lot. But my general lifestyle is so healthy that like, I don't feel bad indulging. So I just wanna share with you guys some little things that I do every single day, and maybe you can pick them up and do them too. Also, I wanted to apologize in advance for the lighting in this video. I don't know if you guys are gonna notice, but like where I'm staying, the windows have like this blue tint and it makes everything like a weird blue hue. I don't know what that's about. You might not even notice, but. If you do, sorry. So I just woke up and the first thing I do every morning right when I wake up is I have a cup of hot water with lemon. Um, I don't use boiling water, I just make it hot and then I take it off the kettle before it boils. So what this does is it sort of flushes out my body in the morning. It's like a natural sort of detoxifier. It also stimulates digestion. So this will help you like go to the bathroom right in the morning. So it's just a really nice little calming way to start your morning. If you feel like you need a bit more of a cleanse and like say you drank last night or you had a really big dinner or a sort of unhealthy dinner, what I like to do is I like to add some apple cider vinegar. This is not the brand I usually like, disclaimer, but I'm on the beach life and I did not go to Whole Foods. I just went to some random store. So I do a shot of apple cider vinegar with the lemon. Apple cider vinegar boosts digestion and metabolism. So this is a really good little cleanser too. If you wanna just give your morning lemon water a little extra boost. Oh my God, I put too much. <laughs> so after my lemon water, I will usually have tea or coffee depending on my mood. This morning, I'm just having some black tea um, and I'm gonna add some almond milk and I wanted to briefly talk about decision number two that I try to make throughout my day to be healthier. And that is like secret sneaky little additives that you add to your food. So a lot of these brands, like a lot of almond milk brands, add a lot of sugar, especially the ones like at like Starbucks or any coffee shop. So I like to get this Khalifa unsweetened because if you look at their ingredients, they do not add sugar. And if I'm at a coffee shop, I try to specify, hey, do you guys have unsweetened almond milk or unsweetened oat milk or whatever? Um, sometimes they do, usually they don't, but it never hurts to ask. So that's tip number two, is just like be mindful of what unnecessary things you are adding to your coffee or smoothies. You know, like a lot of smoothie places will add three bananas or five dates or sugar or really sweet things to try to make your smoothie taste better. So I ask them, I'm like, I look at the ingredients of what's going into the smoothie and I'm like, hey, how many dates do you put in there? Hey, can I only do half a banana? Because I'm not anti-sweets, I'm not anti-sugar, like trust me, I eat sugar, but it's like when I'm going to get a smoothie, I don't need 40 grams of sugar. You know what I mean? That's not what I came here for. I like my sugar in candies and cookies and chocolates and sweets. I don't like my sugar 
in healthy smoothies. So just be mindful, you know, ask questions, yada, yada. I feel like I'm rambling. Also, I just realized you can see that there are Lucky Charms over here. And how dare I do a video about health with Lucky Charms in the background. But I will say these are not mine. These are a fucking grown ass man's Lucky Charms that he eats in the morning. So, sorry. So I also wanna talk a little bit about intermittent fasting which is something that I try to do when I can, but I feel my best when I'm intermittent fasting. So what I do is I do the 16-8 ratio. So I eat for eight hours and I fast for 16. So some sample hours of that could be, you know, dinner ends at six, breakfast is at 10. So six to 10, or seven to 11, or eight to 12, or nine to one. So my ideal ratio is I stop eating at seven and I have breakfast at 11. Um, it's a little tricky when you're like traveling or you're like being social or you're like with people. So I understand like you can't do it all the time, but I try to do it when I can. So the benefits for me of intermittent fasting is my digestion is so much better. And for me, digestion is everything. When my digestion is off, I feel more sluggish. I'm tired. I feel weighed down. I feel lazy. And then it's also like holding in all the toxins and foods and foods that aren't properly digested get stored as fat. And then also in those eight hours of eating, I stick to a sort of Ayurvedic eating schedule. Um, Ayurveda is like the sister science of yoga. I'm actually like a yoga and like spiritual freak. So I've learned about all this shit. Um, so I try to eat every four hours. So I have breakfast at 11, lunch at three, dinner at seven. And the reason I try to give myself four hours between meals is because that's when your body like kickstarts its natural detoxification process. And that's also like how long it takes for your body to digest a meal. On average, it takes about four to six hours. So I like to let my body fully digest what it ate and then have the next meal. Okay, I'm gonna go have this, this tea and um, I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'll circle back with you guys in the afternoon. Okay, so I went to the gym. I just took a shower. Um, I'm gonna make lunch right now. It's lunchtime. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys another tip that I have that is very important. So. Oh my God, no. I was so excited to talk about greens that I freaking spilled it everywhere, actually. That's not that bad, I can wash these. So what I was gonna say before I spill this everywhere is eating a lot of greens is probably one of the most important things for me, for my diet. So I try to have two big mounds of greens a day because there's just so many health benefits for eating greens and for me, it really helps with my digestion if I have a lot of greens every day. So for lunch, I'm just gonna make a big salad, but I wanna show you guys how much greens I try to have. So, let's see. That's about good. So I try to have about this much um, twice a day. So either lunch and dinner, or if I make a smoothie, breakfast and lunch or whatever. Um, so this is one of the most important things for me. If I'm traveling or I know I'm going to be going to dinner where there's not gonna be any vegetables, I literally will stand in my kitchen and I will eat these like chips. And I just shove it in my mouth just to get my greens. And it's really not that hard. So I'm gonna make this salad now really quick.
So here is my salad, big bed of greens with tomatoes, bell peppers, mushrooms, beans for protein, avocado for healthy fats, and I added some sauerkraut. So another one of my tips is I try to add um, fermented foods into my diet when I can because this is also really good for gut health and digestion and it's a natural probiotic so I'm gonna eat this. So I made some tea after lunch um, and I also popped that zit on my forehead. So two very exciting things. Um, another little sort of like health hack that I do instead of having dessert because I have a major sweet tooth and I sort of like to eat something else after I eat my meal. So tea is a great alternative to dessert. Especially if you add a little bit of almond milk, it's really good. And while we are talking about teas, I am going to tell you guys my last tip, which I do, these freaking lucky charms, which I have every single night. So every night after dinner, like about before I'm gonna go to bed, I have a cup of detox tea. So I usually will have either this Puka cleanse tea, this one has fennel, nettle, and peppermint. Or I will have the traditional medicinals everyday detox with dandelion. Dandelion is also really good for combating bloating. So I usually will wake up a little bit less bloated if I have this one. So yeah, those are my little healthy tips and hacks that I try to do throughout the day. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you try any of these. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions or comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.